results. Every once in a while, you got to take a measure, see how you're doing. Now we take a measure called results. A lot of people say, e, I'm scared. What if I do it and I fail? E, I'm scared, E. E, I want to do it. I got gifted. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I know I can write that song. I know I can produce that album. I know I can do that CD. I know I can write a book. I know I can get that degree, but I'm scared. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't going to beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't going to outwork me over three years. I'm going to get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. What is the results at the end of the day, the results at the end of the week? You can't let too much time go by without checking. Six years I'd been out there working when I met my teacher, Mr. Schultz. Schultz said, well, Mr. Rohn, let's just go through a little summary here. He said, in the last six years, how much money have you saved and invested? Let's go through a little tab list here. How much money have you saved and invested the last six years? I said, what? Zero. He said, you have messed up. He said, who sold you on that plan? I thought, my gosh, the man's right. I'm a nice guy. I bought the wrong plan. What if you were 50 and broke, right? Didn't need to change countries, bought the wrong plan. What a sad scenario that would be. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. But if you go after the fight, if you approach the challenge, you have a much better chance of winning. This the fight of your life, baby. Are you hearing me? This the fight of your life. This is the fight of your life. And listen to me. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. All right? Some things don't come. they just not going to come to you because you want it as bad as you want to breathe. Shelf said these questions. Let's go through some results. He said, how many books have you read in the last 90 days? I said, what? Zero. Wisdom of the world available? Change your life, change your future? Wisdom of the world available, develop, develop any skill you want, earn the kind of income you want, have all the treasures you want, equities you want, relationship with your family that you want, everything that you want available, and the wisdom of the world to help you get it. Haven't read any books in the last 90 days. My teacher said, Mr. Rohn, you have messed up. I'm telling you, you've got the deal. Shelf said, Mr. Rohn, in the last six months, how many classes have you taken to improve your skills? or to develop new skills, go for the American dream, become rich and powerful and sophisticated and healthy and influential. How many classes have you taken in the last six months? I said, how many? Zero. He said, you have messed up. He said, you don't need to unmess the country. After you want it as bad as you, you got to put up the dukes, baby. And you got to be willing to fight that thing out. Are you here? Fear, you are not going to stop me. I'm not listening to that voice. I'm not listening to fear. I'm going to move by faith. I've come too far to give up now. You got greatness all inside of you. You got greatness all inside of you. But your problem is you a scaredy cat. You saw. And every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You don't need to straighten out the perplexed. You don't need to straighten out any of this stuff. All you've got to do is look within and let results teach you great deal about your own activity, your own attitude, and your own philosophy. I went through that process. Take this phrase here. Results is the name of the game. What other game is there? Here's all life asks us to do. Make measurable progress in reasonable time. Let's take home that little phrase. Good phrase. We're asked in life simply to make measurable progress in reasonable time. We demanded of our children, how many years do you want your child to spend in fourth grade? 
approximately. About one. If it looks like they're not going to make it, we pour on the pressure. Call legitimate pressure. See, great leaders always sell the dream. Leaders must have vision because of your position. Just by being a position of a leader, you are in front of everybody, aren't you? Which means your point of view should be different. You can see things they can't see. Your job as a leader is to say, here's what I see. This is how amazing it is, and this is how we're going to get there. So great leaders, like that book said, sell the dream constantly. Great entrepreneurs are constantly conscious of selling the dream to their employees, to their clients, to their vendors, to potential clients, to people they sell, to people they do business with, to people in the warehouse. No matter what your business is, I don't care what it is, always be selling the dream. Listen to me, always be selling the dream and do it repetitiously. Don't get tired of saying the same things over and over again. See, business is not about saying new things to old people. Business is about saying old things to new people. So constantly be selling the dream. It's about setting aside comfort, setting aside weakness, setting aside fear, and having the discipline to endure. Endure the challenges and the hardship and the pain in order to become better. While war certainly taught me those things and ingrained those things into my mind if they weren't already there, I don't think you need to go to war to learn them. But I do think that you have to discipline yourself. You have to get outside your comfort zone. You have to push yourself beyond what you thought you could ever do to get to get that glimpse of the truth. People quitting, chargebacks, flunking the exam. That's all going to happen. Just get ready. If you're an entrepreneur and you want to do something great, you're going to have false start after false start. False start after false start. Get it going, then you don't. Get it going, then you don't. Your group grows, then it shrinks. I'm telling you right now. Just know that. You're going to make some money, then you're not. Being an entrepreneur, tons of false starts, tons of setbacks. But see, a guy like me, I knew someone was better than me. There's more talented people than me. Probably more talented than you. But like my dad said, the best ability is availability. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't gonna outwork me over three years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. Just like you could be, right? Just like you could be, I just keep coming. You might think I'm knocked out, I just keep coming. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. And to get that glimpse of the glory. Motivation is it's kind of a strange word because it doesn't really mean what we think it means. We think it means that we're fired up to do something. We think that it means we're eager and passionate to make something happen. And we think that somehow we should just be able to Turn on that eagerness and turn on that passion. But we can't. Because you just can't turn on passion. You can't just turn on the desire to execute a task. It just doesn't work that way. And honestly, that isn't even what motivate means. Motivate doesn't mean to yell and scream and encourage. 